since we're on celebrity news, there's another celebrity love affair we've been following. It is the trial of Alex Jones. That's right, Glenn. We've been looking into this story every single day for the past Why? five months. Our entire news team has been working day wait, and wait, night in an investigation. We don't have a news team, and I don't know why you're talking about The whole like newsroom is asking this question. We don't have Who is this man? Is this the Alex newsroom Jones. at 11 Alive? 11 Alive <laughs> okay. reporting. Is he a performance artist? And now it's time for another episode of Adventures on Prison Planet. Mm. The person you casually watch on television or on the internet is not who they say they are. On today's episode, we will explore the mountain of evidence that suggests Alex Jones is not Alex Jones. We all know Alex Jones is a fan of conspiracies. I don't like them putting chemicals in the water that turn the friggin' frogs gay. Do you understand that? Ugh, ugh, serious crap. But this is the one conspiracy he doesn't like. It has long been reported on reputable sources like WordPress websites and 4chan threads that Alex Jones is, in fact, the legendary comedian Bill Hicks. Does this voice sound familiar to you? The elite are all about transcendence and living forever and the secrets of the universe, and they want to know all this. Some are good, some are bad, some are a mix. But the good ones don't ever want to organize. The bad ones tend to want to organize because they lust after power. Powerful uh, consciousnesses don't want to dominate other people. They want to empower them so they don't tend to get together until things are really late in the game. Then they come together. Evil's always defeated because good is so much stronger. Of course, it's unmistakably Alex Jones, the same owner of this voice. This is a song I wrote when I lived in a dumpster. <laughs> My eyes are red, my clothes are stained, and my breath stinks. <laughs> if you can see this, you're not nearly as wasted as I am. Actually, that was Bill Hicks. Hicks was a great impersonator, would frequently use the accent you just heard. It's the same voice, people. Especially when you consider the fact that Bill Hicks was prone to irrationally angry outbursts like this. I want my children to listen to people who f***ing rock. I don't care if they died in puddles of their own vomit. I want someone who plays from their heart. Mommy, mommy, the man built over the listeners here has a blood bubble on his nose. Shut up and listen to him play. I can yell at the comedian because I'm a drunk That gives me carte blanche. I got a and I'm drunk. I can do anything I want. I don't have a I can yell at performers because I'm a f idiot because I got a I want you to go find a soul. The only other person I've ever heard go off the deep end like that is, you guessed it, Alex Jones. Alex is very aware of the Bill Hicks theory and addresses it from time to time on a show apparently. Sometimes he vehemently denies it, but sometimes he mistakenly slips up and admits the truth. I carried on the charade for more than 15 years. Kevin, don't mess me up. <laughs> Known as Bill Hicks, I carried out the fraud for my accomplice, Kevin Booth. <laughs> no, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, stop, stop. He's clearly joking about the confession as a way to cover up the fraud. But what should strike you about this video is the noticeable drop of character, change of voice, and the mention of Kevin Booth. Kevin Booth is Alex Jones's producer and good friend. That wouldn't be notable except for the fact that Kevin Booth was also Bill Hicks's producer and good friend. Kevin's production company, Sacred Cow Productions, has produced projects for both Bill and Alex as if they were different. It gets even stranger, though. Bill Hicks' last interview before his death was on the Austin Public Access Channel, the same channel Kevin Booth claims to have first heard Alex Jones' show. One of the last projects Kevin Booth shot with Bill Hicks was coverage of the Waco siege. One of the first projects Kevin Booth did with Alex Jones was about the Waco siege. What was another project Kevin Booth was working on with Bill Hicks before he died? I quote, I remember the very last time Bill Hicks came to Austin Access, spring of 1993. 
We were working on a script called Public Access about a Rush Limbaugh type character who angers a viewer and the viewer came to the station and killed the host on the air. It's not a coincidence. But the most damning piece of evidence that Bill Hicks and Alex Jones are one and the same is the orange drink. Let's be honest. Alex Jones sells many bizarre products on his websites, but there's one that stands out. Tangy Tangerine. Hmm. What would possess a conspiratorial talk show host to sell a random, obviously terrible, tangy tangerine orange drink? Listen to this from Bill Hicks. This is the product. You ready? Orange drink. I'm going, what's the name of it? Orange drink. Is that, it's classic England, right? Just such a socialist nightmare over there, right? <laughs> That's the drink. It's orange drink. I said, yeah, you really got my act down good, guys. That'll be great. You know, when I'm uh, done ranting about elite power that rules the planet under a totalitarian government that uses the media in order to keep people stupid, my throat gets parched. <laughs> That's why I drink orange drink. Yeah, right. See, don't you see how it all fit in? Don't you see how every word I said would be hollow and filled with nothing? Wow. Wow. I mean, that, that clip gives me chills. Bill Hicks told us in advance that he would leave this Easter egg. And there it is. It's all a big inside joke. Alex Jones is a creation of Bill Hicks and Kevin Booth specifically designed to mock the very people who watch Alex Jones. This is an extended comedy routine. It's Andy Kaufman to the thousandth power. But obviously they are right that the government is putting chemicals in the water to turn the frogs gay. I mean, I'm with them on that one, 100%. This has been another terrifying and disturbing episode of Adventures on Prison Planet. Thank you so much, Stu, for that um, incredible report that you just did. What was the biggest thing that you walked away with? Uh... Well, I'll, I'll tell you, Glenn, I, I started this as a skeptic. Uh -huh. I started this as a project to disprove this conspiracy theory. And I, I, after seeing the evidence, I just, I couldn't believe it. I don't want to be a person bringing this news to people, but the evidence is overwhelming. When you played the audio back to back of the two voices, it took my breath away. Well, and, and this being radio, Glenn, cannot see the visual evidence uh, that I, we've come up with as well. I've posted right. it on my Facebook page. You can see the pictures side by side. You can see the hairline side by side. You can see the mole pattern on his neck side by side. You can see the dental structure side by side. And you tell me there is just too much evidence. And we, we are, all we do here at 11 Alive is ask questions. That's all we do. We, we try to bring the news to the people. We're just, we're humble people just trying to bring the news to everyone. Well, thank you for joining us at the desk. One more thing. Mm -hmm. How did there, Alex there is Jones no desk here, by what? the way? There's, I'm, did, I'm sorry, Pat. There is no desk. How did the original no, Alex no Jones desk. die? Was it in a gay frog uh, Islamic bar, or? Um, well, first of all, I think it's quite obvious after hearing that that he did not die. Bill Hicks uh, did not die. No, I'm asking mm -hmm. about the real Alex Jones. Did? Oh, well, there. I don't think there is a real Alex Jones. I so think. there was no murder involved. No, of a third mm -hmm. character. No, no. Okay. Well, that could be an episode. I can I can look into that with all of our resources. Were they seen together at parties? No, they never were. Uh, um, actually, Bill Hicks did die in a very strange way. He died of, I mean, the reporting was he died of pancreatic cancer at the age of 36. Interesting that the average age, unlikely. or 34 it was, the average age of pancreatic cancer a diagnosis is 71. Almost all cases are past 45. So how 45. did Bill Hicks really die? Did Alex Jones kill him? No, uh, no I think you're missing the way this is working. <laughs> um, there is no Alex Jones. Bill Hicks is Alex Jones. They're the same person. Mm -hmm. um, and so there's no Alex Jones. There's no. Well, there's Alex. I mean, he makes, he and calls himself Alex Jones, but, but he, there's no Bill Hicks. Well, this but, is a fascinating story. And thank you. Thank you for following. You it seem to have a real grasp on <laughs> it. Too, <laughs> well, I don't usually listen to the packages mm -hmm. once we go off camera. Mm -hmm. <laughs> really? And so mm -hmm. I'm just I'm oh. going with the flow here, and it is a you don't just fascinating walk into the journey. Anchor desk. No. Yeah. No.